is a 70 year old schizophrenic woman from Penetanguishene. She likes the little sandwiches and cookies at the meetings, and because all of the girls have eating disorders, she can have as many as she wants. I have to smuggle Agnes's coffee in under my coat, though, because coffee's not allowed. No gum, no cigarettes, no caffeine. It's like the total opposite of an AA meeting. I sit between Agnes and Nancy, a middle-aged bulimic and self-appointed leader of the group. I think Nancy's kind of mad at me today because I was released from the hospital. The doctors are letting me go early, I'd said to her when I signed the release papers at reception. Oh, doctors, they think they know everything, she snapped. Nancy crosses her arms and frowns as I lean back in my chair and pick my nails to show her I could care less about her oncoming interrogation. You want to start today, Giselle? Nancy asks. Sure. Why don't you tell us what kind of steps you've been taking? Well, okay, let's see. I've been going to the library to do research. I work with Agnes here. Everybody say hi to Agnes. The girls squeak out hellos and Agnes opens her mouth to reveal a half-chewed cheese sandwich and her loose dentures. Just as I'm about to convince the crowd that I'm the, sex, the success story of the month, Agnes pipes, she's got a bow, before stuffing another sandwich into her face. Nancy gets all red as she adjusts her chair to better verbally assault me. The challenge this week was obviously to read a passage from your favorite book. So that was from Skinny by E.B. Caslick. I don't really have a favorite book, and I wouldn't say that this is even one of my favorites, but I'm pretty sure I've already read From Life After God, and I think Paul has my copy of Microsurfs with him, and no he doesn't, it's out in the- never mind. And I'm pretty sure we've all read from at least one John Green book on this channel, so we've got our bases covered with that. So I like this book, I thought I would read from it. It's very sad, and it's like sad to the point that it makes you angry. And I like that. Excuse me while I have a sip of my coffee. There's udders! There's udders on my mug! This is from Cass. Cass, I... We got so excited about opening the package that we forgot to film it, but, um... I love this. I love this so much. There's udders on the mug. I have all the other stuff that was in the package. Except... Except the cookies! Because we ate them already. And by we, I mean I. The mix CD. And it's all rainbow on the back. It's so cute. I really wish that that we had filmed it um, when we opened it because I cannot recreate how excited I was when I opened the actual envelope part because I'm like reading your letter and I'm like, oh my god, she made her own paper. How sweet is that? Cass is so cool. And then I like open up the book and just like flipped Oh, I believe what I said is she's a magician. <laughs> because, so, it's nice. Cass sent me a book, right? It's, it's cute. It's, it's very sweet. And then you open it up. No, it's not a book. It's a case. It's a bookcase, but not a book. Yeah. And there's candy. There's candy in the bookcase. And there's stickers. My Little Pony stickers. And there's WTF post-its. Yeah. There's a Wonder Nudes keychain. Yeah. And then there's a story. There's a story. I don't want to read it. I, I will... If no one else got a version of this story, then I will read it in my next video. But I don't want to ruin it for anyone who hasn't received their package yet. So thank you so much, Kaz. That was so sweet. And I... I am standing by the claim that you are a magician, because that's magic. Sorcery. You're a witch. Oh, I have more stuff to show you, and hopefully there's enough time in this video because we went to the Comic-Con, the Vancouver Comic-Con, it's really tiny, but, um, yeah, we went there yesterday, and stuff, and there was a girl selling her zines, so I bought a tin full of zines for, like, five bucks and they're really cute some of them are poems and some of them are comics and they're super super cute and then um I'm pretty sure I freaked this person out because we kept going back to her table I bought this job Nick and it is actually like an autobiographical graphic novel um, about 
her time in the Israeli army. So yeah, I bought that. Actually, Paul bought that for me because he's very nice, and we kind of went and did a lap around the uh, Comic Con again, and I ended up going back and buying two of her ritual essays because she's so cool. And then I bought I bought a bu a button that's actually one of the panels in uh, Jobnik. I don't know if you can tell by my beautiful hair or my Terry Fox sweater that I'm not fully awake yet. I'm gonna drink my coffee out of my utter mug and edit this. So I love you Wonder Nerds and I haven't said anything about your videos but you know what I think this is gonna be six minutes anyway. I don't know why I'm shaking my head like this. DFTBA